An awful lot has been said on this campaign trail by both candidates, but unfortunately there are very few hard facts to go on. Where we do have some facts, it tends to be on areas like tax and spending. Clinton is the continuity candidate. Not much in the way of increases in taxes, a bit more tax on the rich. A bit more on spending as well. The impact on the national debt? Very little. In contrast, Trump is going to slash income taxes for everybody, but especially the very rich. And he's going to cut corporation taxes and roll back deregulation. On an economic basis, this all sounds quite positive, but it is likely to cause the national debt to balloon. More importantly than tax and spending, though, is what the candidates are saying about trade. Neither candidate has been particularly pro-free trade on this campaign trail, in particular with reference to the Trans-Pacific Partnership, the TPP. Clinton hasn't sounded very pro-free trade, but Trump has suggested he's going to rip up NAFTA, he's going to pull the US out of the World Trade Organization, and he's going to impose tariffs on China and on Mexico. If he does this, we're likely to see other countries retaliate. World growth collapsing and world trade collapsing. So, what's the financial market response likely to be? Well, let's take Clinton first. If she wins the presidential election race, then we're likely to see markets giving a small relief rally. Stocks are likely to go up. The dollar's likely to strengthen a bit. And so too will currencies like the Canadian dollar and the Mexican peso. If Trump wins, we're likely to see the opposite, but much, much bigger.